students in our course professional academic skills throughout the next four modules we are going to talk about test taking techniques what do i mean by test am i talking about any test no here we are going to discuss the techniques used for any standardized test a test used for evaluating or determining your proficiency of the english we have different type of a standardized test, but the famous of them are, are the TOEFL, the IELTS, and the PTE. Why is it called standardized? Because it sets standards. It's the same all over the world. Anyone who wants to examine his proficiency of the English language has to go through any of these exams, and he will get his result, which tells him his or her level in a language. Are they all the same? No, each of them has different timing, different number of questions, but they have the same format. They have the same four categories or sections. You'll find a reading section, speaking section, writing section, and a listening section. So, throughout the next four modules, we are going to discuss each and every of these uh, sections. But, this is an advice before we start any of our section and even in life you need to confine yourself to the four P's what do you mean by the four P's the first P stands for prepare prepare yourself for the exam prepare by practicing by knowing the format of the exam the number of questions the timing that I need to have practice practice more and more persist if you know that you have a problem in a certain category or a certain section keep answering samples and samples and samples until you master this part finally perform it's time for the exam then go for it our first module it's talking about reading section we are going to discuss the reading part the categories sorry the techniques and strategies the first strategy we are going to talk about is all question first and we have another strategy called first question first and all first what does this mean these are different strategies for approaching a reading text no one is better than the other it depends on you which strategy you think that it fits you better so let's start by the first strategy all question first what does this mean it means if i have a reading text what should i do first of all read all the questions before reading the text and then go for the text why because now you have got an idea about the question and the information you want to look for in the text your mind are oriented now but if you start by reading the text and then you went back to the question so you need to go from the question back to the text in order to find the answer so it'll keep going back and forth look, wasting your time so it's better to start by reading all the questions than finding answer the second strategy is first question first it means read the first question go to the text start reading until you find the answer for your question then go for the second question and then go to the text from the place where you start and start reading till you find this, the answer of the second question and keep doing this for the rest so again you are saving time the, the last strategy is all firsts it means that you are going to read the head of the essay or the text and then if there is any subtitles in the first paragraph you are going to look for the thesis statement and in every other paragraph you are going to read only the topic sentence why you are doing this because as you studied before in your english course that the thesis statement carries the whole idea of the essay and each topic sentence for each paragraph carries the idea of the paragraph so by now when you go to read the question you are aware that this idea is found in paragraph number one or two or three or whatever so now it's clear for you where to find the information so you are not going to waste your time most of the students find it difficult to end or to finish their reading exam because they didn't find time they wasted their time reading the whole text going back and forth without finding an answer so that's why you need to practice and to be aware which strategy fits you better and you start practicing and persisting on this strategy okay 
now let's move on to the reading skills so now we have discussed before the strategies now we are moving to the skills what are the reading skills you have three skills skimming guessing and scanning what are the meaning of these skills by skimming it means you are getting a general idea about the text or about the essay so you are not focusing on a certain information you are just reading the title subtitles any highlighted thing the picture so you are getting this main idea and then the guessing from its name it means that you are guessing something and then the scanning you are looking for specific information okay so what are the different types of questions we are going to have in our exam we are going to have general ideas questions so here it's asking about what do you think it is asking about your own point of view or a general idea where it only requires skimming just getting the general idea about the text and then you have vocabulary questions it depends on guessing you need to guess the meaning of word based on the word previously and the word after the context so you are going to guess finally you have details questions so here you are going to use the scanning skill because you are looking for a certain information for a certain date for a certain name so here this is called scanning before moving to the discussion i just want you to know that it's normal that you are going to be afraid from an exam you are going to be anxious because we are human but if we practice and we did our best we are going to master in our exams now let's start the discussion in your discussion you have to try the different reading strategies then you need to discuss and tell us which one fits you better and then share with us any further tips for your friends because we are all learning from each other as for the assignment you have a reading sample you need to download this reading sample and then follow the steps that is simulating exam environment as if you are in an exam read the question and label them into types yeah is this, is this a general question or details question or a vocabulary question write what strategy you are going to follow and then what did you do in order to decide on this particular strategy adjust your stopwatch on the 20 minute answer the reading question as if you are in an exam and then after you finish honestly tell us how much time did it take you to finish the task that's it for the first module the reading module now let's move to the next module which is about speaking it's terrifying for most of the students to go through this specific section of the exam because they are going to speak in english which is not their first language so they are terrifying to death that they are not going to master this part because they don't have the American or the British accent let me tell you that the accent is not important and to make sure that you know the meaning of an accent it's totally different from wrong pronunciation the wrong pronunciation for example is instead of saying people you say people or book you say book this is wrong pronunciation this is not an accent the accent is for example water the British would pronounce it as water and the American would pronounce it as water this is called the accent and the accent is not important because we are not a native speaker we are Arabic speakers and we are proud to be so however hard we try to gain the accent it would be hard for us and we wouldn't be like the natives so we only need to have the right pronunciation of English and again you need to practice and by practicing you are going to overcome all the obstacles in your exam in the speaking section you are going to read in comprehension you read a prompt and comment on it by speaking you may listen to a prompt and comment on it so you are having integrated tasks by integrating you are using more than Skills. one the speaking strategies are note-taking moderate pace speak proficiently by note-taking 
it's not only just taking notes by having a plate, pen, and a pen, for example. No, it means that you need to listen carefully to use shorthand. By shorthand, means you don't have to write all the word or all the sentence, just part of it. If it is fine for you to use your first language, if it's easier, then take the note in your first language. If not, if it's fine for you to take notes in English, then fine. You have to keep in mind you don't have to write all the information, just the important information or the information you feel like you are going to forget it. Then the modern taste, it means while speaking, you need to practice not to speak quickly or not to speak slowly and to avoid mumbling. You have to speak with a moderate pace and this comes by practice. In order to maintain the moderate pace while speaking proficiently, you need to practice. Record yourself while speaking. Gather your family members and speak in front of them. Start practicing speaking step by step. You are going to be a question. Types of questions that you are going to have in your exam. You will either have independent speaking, just asking you about your opinion in something or speak about yourself or integrated tasks. As I said, integrated, that it means you are using more than one skill. You either hear something and speak or you read a prompt and you comment on it. Now let's start our discussion. In your discussion, it says, try different speaking strategies Discuss the problem you face. Share further tips with your friends. As I said before, we are learning from each other. Read your peers' responses and give them solutions because every one of you is supposed to write a problem he or she faced while trying this strategy. So try to find an alternative for your friend. The assignment. For your assignment, you have to read the text, watch a video, after reading the text, watching the video, you need to record yourself answering the following question. Explain the AK theory and how the example used by the professor illustrates how the theory can be applied. So, this is the question. In order to answer it, you need to read and to watch. That's it for your assignment. Thank you, my dear students. Good luck.